you know usually we think like when we do good things or when we achieve certain things like good marks ranks and accolades etc uh, we think only then we feel good but i mean that's true uh, I, i can't rule it out and i don't want to rule it out but have you ever thought of this if you feel good you have the potential to do good i mean only when you feel good you'll do good and that's like a ripple effect hello hope you guys are all doing good we're launching two new batches one for neat mds 2021 and the other for neat mds 2022 Project Jeers towards NEET MDS 2021 will be starting from the month of June, so we have around six to seven months time. The first five months will be utilized exclusively for subject tests and cumulative tests. So each month we will be having one cumulative test with a collection of four or five subject tests. And then in the sixth and or seventh month, depending upon the date of announcement of the exam, we'll be having exclusively revision tests and grant tests. Right. So this is the overview of Project Jeers batch, which is or which will be starting very soon so you can drop a mail at proud to be dentist at gmail.com for more details for attending the schedule etc and then we have another new batch starting for neat mds 2022 which is exclusively for our final year students so all final year students so there is a lot of uncertainty like when the final exams will be conducted and most of you are still at home even though the college opens we're still waiting for the exam date and all the final exam date and all So in the meantime you can start your preparation by focusing on your final year subjects which helps you in preparing towards your university theory as well as towards entrance preparation. So we're launching a regular batch for all final year students. So the course will be extending till the date of your exam. Again you can drop a mail for more details. And these are different components of our course. So I call it as four pillars to our course. E classes, test series, study club discussions and assignments so e classes you can access all recorded videos topic wise subject wise anytime as per your convenience so there is no fixed schedule i mean you can either follow the schedule given by us or you can formulate your own customized schedule or you can get back for any further assistance test series we had different category of tests and for project jeers we are having this new format where we will be providing you access to four or five subject tests depending upon the test series schedule at once and you can take up the cumulative test along with subject tests at the end of the month again based on your schedule right and then we have these weekly study club discussions i mean uh, i personally enjoy these discussions because we have anko and tenko discussing these topics and uh, it's really fun So this study club discussion will be in cumulative manner. We have uh, two sessions per week and as I said they are in cumulative format. And finally we have these assignments to encourage you make notes and to uh, see to that you are referring standard literature. And these assignments you'll have all questions, standardized questions, topic wise and then once we verify your worth through mail then we'll be providing you key and explanations in e classes accordingly so these four components are four pillars to our course right so you need any further clarification of course you're more than welcome to get back to mail so all i would suggest you is to focus on these four components practice as many mcqs as possible on day to day basis and then make notes simultaneously you literally have nothing to worry about as long as you're focusing on the task at hand focus on the task at hand enjoy the process because this preparation phase is an opportunity for each and every one of you to master as many concepts as possible at undergraduate level so that you can lay a stronger foundation towards your post graduation and for the rest of your professional career so when you consider this preparation phase as an opportunity it will be exciting yeah, and you will be moving forward with enthusiasm hope and positivity and most importantly you'll enjoy the process that's what matters at the end of the day you enjoy what you're doing you'll sustain that activity don't you think so i know the situations are very challenging we need to admit the same we need to accept the reality but once a situation becomes very challenging it doesn't mean that we give up i mean that should not be an option 
if you're feeling negative depressed demotivated passivated because i've been getting literally hundreds of mails every week uh, complaining about the current scenario yes that's true the current scenario is very challenging but remember each and every one of us have the potential to overcome the same that's what human potential is all about in respect of the challenges you can turn inward and then focus on giving your best you know usually we think like when we do good things or when we achieve certain things like good marks ranks and accolades etc uh, we think only then we feel good but i mean that's true uh, i can't rule it out and i don't want to rule it out but have you ever thought of this if you feel good you have the potential to do good i mean only when you feel good you'll do good and that's like a ripple effect and how do you feel good that's all in your hands that's all in our hands how we feel about ourselves how we perceive about the current situations so no matter how the external situations are if you are really determined to give your best there is no stopping you and of course you can feel good you can use numerous techniques you can employ as many techniques based on your convenience and time availability and visualization technique is one such technique which we discussed in our previous sessions as well all you need to do is just sit down relax and then visualize yourself in a position where you wish to be uh, cracking the entrance or in your favorite college or uh, in your favorite specialty just keep visualizing as many times as possible take my word you'll feel good and once you feel good that itself is the most powerful intrinsic motivational factor no matter how much extrinsic motivation you have it's all short lived i'm sure you're aware of that and you might have experienced the same but intrinsic motivation is something which is very effective and long lasting to so try this and no matter how the external situations are you always have the potential to overcome those challenges and give your best and ultimately it's all about working hard working consistently and most importantly believing in yourself so for any further queries or further assistance you're more than welcome to get back through mail 24 by 7 so wish you all the best love you all